Okay, so I'm joined now by Anthony Rushton from the European Southern Observatory, who is one of many astronomers here at the National Astronomy Meeting presenting some of the first results from ALMA. So first of all, uh, tell us a little bit about ALMA. Okay, ALMA is a fantastic new telescope that's being built in the Atacama Desert in Chile. It's a huge uh, sub-millimeter antenna array. It's going to consist of over 50 antennas, and it's going to be built at an altitude of 5,000 meters. It's going to be one of the most unique instruments that's ever been created. But despite not being built, it's already producing some fantastic science results just with maybe half of the dishes uh, up there. So what, um, what aspects of research have you been working on? Well, I'm particularly interested in looking at a mission that comes from the, the supermassive black hole at the centre of our galaxy. And with the, the small test array that we've got of um, uh, 10 or 20 antennas, I've been having a look at some of the variability that comes from the supermassive black hole at the very centre. And once the array is fully complete, how will your uh, results and your research progress? What additional information will you be able to acquire? Well, we don't quite know what is causing the radio and submillimeter emission that comes from uh, the very centre of the galaxy, uh, an object we designate uh, Sag Sagittarius A-star. Um, we want to do test uh, how the uh, source varies with time and what the spectral information is. And this, we want to probe exactly what is causing um, the emission that comes from the very centre. Is it coming from a jet or is it coming from a, an accretion disk forming around the black hole? And hopefully our project will be able to shed some light on what's causing this emission. And what will that tell us about the formation of galaxies in general? Well, uh, jets and the supermassive black hole, uh, the centre of most galaxies, seems to be incredibly important to the formation uh, of the of, of galaxies and regulating the size of galaxies. Every galaxy is believed to uh, have a supermassive black hole in the very centre. So by studying the black hole that's in the centre of our galaxy, we'll be able to have a look at some of the most detailed physics of how that supermassive black hole affects the rest of the Milky Way galaxy. 